thank you for your support. I'm honored and touched to be the Green Party's nominated candidate here in Guelph. And um, what a fantastic team we have here in Guelph. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who made tonight such a success. And everyone who's worked so hard to get this historic campaign off the ground. Thank you. I'm excited to be here at Innovation Guelph. Because this is an organization that's dedicated to developing new ideas. I think it was Einstein who said that a new idea is not, if it's not completely absurd, that it's not a very effective idea. <laughs> and I believe this province needs some absurd, bold, new ideas. <laughs> Guelph is the most innovative, forward-thinking community in all of Ontario. Guelph deserves to be represented by a leader of a political party, the Green Party, that shares Guelph's values and vision. We are going to lead this province to a positive, sustainable future, starting right here in Guelph. And I know we can make it happen in Guelph because 17 years ago, there was a 26-year-old kid who came to the Guelph Organic Conference with an absurd idea. He basically said, you can start a home delivery company to bring local, organic, and natural foods directly from farmers to people's doorsteps. And people told me that was absurd. This was before I think Netscape was even invented. <laughs> Believe it or not, my kids don't even know what that world looks like. <laughs> people told me that was absurd. But 17 years later, that business is still running strong. And I think it's because it was fostered right here in Guelph. <laughs> Guelph is the perfect place to start such a business. It's still a perfect place to start a new business and a new political movement. Guelph is the place where bold new ideas are developed and delivered. And we're going to take those to Queen's Park and shake up the political establishment. New ideas are nurtured, and where new ideas can become true. And that's why the University of Guelph was established here to bring forward innovation in agriculture and food and water. That's why you have entrepreneurs like Ali Ansari who could start a business like Well.ca, the fastest growing and most successful tech company, one of them in all of Canada. And an entrepreneur who's focused a tech, com tech company not on new gadgets, but actually delivering wellness to his staff and to his community. And when I toured his facility, the thing that struck me more than anything was he wasn't there to talk about what policies the Green Party could deliver to directly to his bottom line, but he wanted to talk about what makes this a great community and why the fact that Guelph is such a great community why that's good for his business. And that's exactly why we have companies like Lenimar, who not only manufactures auto parts uh, and, and agricultural equipment parts, but also has the vision to say, you know what? We can manufacture wind turbine parts and create a leading business in the emerging low carbon economy. facilities here. It's why an entrepreneur like Bob Desitel not only had the vision to start a neighborhood pub, which serves beer that I love by the way, <laughs> but not only had the vision to do that, but also to start to be one of the founders of the Green Party right here in Guelph. 
It's a place. Go ahead. Yeah, Bob, give it up for Bob. It's a place where citizens demand that their city government be bold with new ideas. So instead of building a new landfill, this is the kind of community that would save money and um, reduce and recycle and divert waste. It's the kind of community that instead of building a new water pipeline, would save money and by saving water. And now it's a community that has a bold new idea that says we can conserve and produce our energy locally, right here in our community. to make it happen. And I believe that leadership is missing in action right now. And since Guelph is the most innovative and progressive and forward-thinking community, this community deserves, it absolutely deserves, to be represented by the leader of a political party, the Green Party, a political party that shares Guelph's values and vision. All right. need another backbench MPP to toe the party line or to engage in partisan political gamesmanship. We need somebody who can take straight talk to Queens Park, that can put this community's interests forward at the top of the provincial agenda. And speaking of Queens Park, frankly I'd actually prefer to just keep talking about Guelph all night, but sadly I have to talk about Queens Park a bit. <laughs> You know, what's happening at Queens Park right now? Nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know what? We have a liberal premier who decided to take something out of the conservatives' playbook and probe parliament because it just got too tough. And that's wrong. Well, I think it's wrong. It's wrong to slap democracy in the face. And I think we can expect better, and we should demand better from our provincial leaders. Yeah. You know, even if, even, even if our MPPs had clocked in today, like the rest of us, I don't think they would be bringing the bold new ideas that we need to move this province forward. And I can tell you, I clocked in at Queens Park this morning. I was there for the release of the Environment Commissioner's report on how the province is progressing when it's dealing with climate change. And you would have thought after a superstorm, Sandy, which happens to be named after my wife, by the way. <laughs> You would have thought after a storm like that that we would be taking action on climate change, but I was deeply disappointed and distressed to learn today that not only will Ontario not meet our greenhouse gas reduction targets, but the provincial government doesn't even have a plan to do it. And that, my friends, is completely unacceptable, especially when the solutions are staring us right in the face. And in the famous words, if I could edit James Carville's famous words, it's the low carbon economy, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Queens Park is suffering from a distressing lack of new ideas and leadership. And I want to go there because I want Guelph to be the clean tech and high tech capital of North America. And I will fight for the I deeply believe that it is possible to transition to a better economy that creates the right kinds of jobs that enrich our communities and our quality of life. And I believe it starts by supporting our small and medium-sized businesses and our new entrepreneurs to create good local jobs in our communities, 
We need tax reductions on their payrolls, not tax reductions for big corporations. <laughs> Instead of wasting billions on new nuclear reactors, I think we can retrofit our buildings at half the cost and create 90 times more jobs. And those are the kinds of solutions that we need. Stop Medicores 
Yes. Yes. And as the first political leader in this province to speak out against the mega quarry, my commitment to you is, is I want Guelph to be the local food hub for South Southern Ontario. All right. Yes. that we can bring to Queen's Park from Guelph. And together, Guelph, the Green Party, and Mike Schreiner will deliver new ideas and solutions to shake up the political establishment at Queen's Park. I came to Guelph 17 years ago was an absurd idea to start a new business. And I have come to Guelph tonight to launch a historic campaign to elect Ontario's first Green MPP. Parliamentarian of the Year, Elizabeth May, can make it out of Like me, you follow Rob's instructions. <laughs> her hard work, her integrity, and her outstanding leadership, I think is an inspiration for me and for all Canadians. And that's the type of leadership I will take to Queen's Park. Yeah. Last week in Victoria, BC, we came within 1,200 votes of electing Canada's second Green MP. Yeah. Even in oil-rich Calgary, yes. we received over 25% of the vote. Yes. All right. Party, and it's going to land in Guelph, Ontario, where we are going to make history in the spring of 2013. So let's agree, my friends, let's agree that one green makes a difference. Oh yeah. Let's agree that an elected Green MPP will make a difference. Yeah. Let's agree that we need new ideas at Queen's Park. Yeah. Let's agree that Guelph doesn't need another backbench MPP dutifully following party dictates. Yeah. Let's agree, let's agree that Guelph needs a leader who will challenge the status quo, talk straight with the community, and put the needs of Ontario and Guelph ahead of partisan political interests. Yeah. Yeah. Let's agree. Let's agree that a handful of committed people can change the world. Yeah. Yeah. only thing that changes the world. Yeah. Well folks, we have a room full of people who will change the world. Yeah. So finally, let's agree that we're all in, folks. We are all in to win in Guelph and elect Ontario's first green MPP. Thank you.